everyone, thank you for tuning in and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So about today's video, if you thought I wasn't going to be talking a lot or I was just going to give you another tour through Target or Magnolia, then you were very mistaken because that is actually what I'm going to be doing today, talking a lot about Magnolia and their journal, which is the magazine and just giving you an overview of what it is. So as I mentioned in my first video, my previous video, I love Ship and John Gaines, their show Fixer Upper and everything that they do. I mentioned that I went to the marketplace in Waco, Texas, and right now I am actually wearing the shirt that I got over there. As you can see, it says Waco, Texas, Magnolia Silos. Very nice, I love this shirt. And yes, they don't only have the marketplace and the silos and the Magnolia table, but they also have a magazine. And this magazine is called the Magnolia Journal. There is actually a very funny story behind how I came to realizing that this journal existed. Disclaimer, I am a fan of Fixer Upper, of Ship and Joanna Gaines, but my no means do I know everything about their lives or everything about Magnolia. I just adore their decor and just their dynamics. It's just awesome to me, but I don't know everything. So I was just walking through my job and I see this magazine with the Magnolia logo and Joanna in the cover. And and then I came to realize that Joanna actually had a magazine and it was called the Magnolia Journal, which I honestly don't understand why I didn't know this before because I've been following her on my social media for a long time and she promotes it all the time. But basically today I want to share with you guys what I liked from this magazine, what I liked from this journal and just how amazing it actually is here it is this is the magnolia journal right there for you all to see this is joanna Gaines, and i love this theme it, it's 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 amazing it actually is amazing right now i'm just wondering why the heck didn't i just go and do a podcast about this when i'm actually just talking all the time i could have just done some talking in a microphone and that was it but then i think and there's something about just talking to a camera that makes it all better i think i'm just gonna stick with the idea of making videos for for now it's a little heads up and a little break before i really go into the magazine look at this little cutie right here unfortunately i did not make this but they have it at target Again, anuncio no pagado at eight dollars. Amazing, amazing, just amazing the things you can see at this place. I love this journal and I love the writings that are in here. And just we're gonna just look over them. So in the cover page is her again, and it says this fall we're embracing the rhythms that move us forward. Just at the beginning of the magazine, we have got hearth and hand i pronounced it correctly this time thank god <laughs> here it is this is part of their fall 2020 collection they have beautiful color schemes with some grays and some terracotta uh color we keep going and they just have like the table of contents until we get to the letter from the editor which is from joanna Gaines herself and there's a quote that stood out to me a lot from this part and it says in the face of all of it the broken heartedness the chaos and confusion i have been reminded again of the importance of listening and learning of looking inward and of standing together for what is good and right and then a couple sentences after she goes like the rhythm is essential Basically what she talks about in this part is that even though it has been hard and crazy and it just it just has been all out of order of what we're normally used to this past couple of months due to the pandemic and the different protests and and the different injustices that have been going around 
it's important for us to find our rhythm to find how to sway back in into what we know and and the good and the right so after the letter from the editor we continue to different promotions that they have then we get to joe's false favorite and then after that we have ship's false favorite the hammer multi-tool okay okay y'all you, you got you gotta see this you gotta see this because i really thought this was amazing i really thought this was amazing look at that can you see that that is awesome it has everything it's a hammer the screwdriver a knife well cool stuff you already know then we continue to page 18 where they have a beautiful beautiful i loved this part a beautiful essay on how we see rhythm in our surroundings i put my glasses on because you all i am blind and i am trying my hardest to see here and i am not able to it says we embrace the rhythm of the season and we find peace in the way it moves us what I got from this essay was how to embrace rhythm. Then another couple of pages from there, we got how our kitchens hold this together, and there's a little some little tips on how to organize your kitchen. I love the illustrations. There are uh, some recipes on how to make mini pies different flavors: cinnamon apple, ginger cranberry, spiced pear and brown sugar you already know am i gonna try all of this mm -hmm. then they have another story on page 51 about rocking chairs and the movement of rocking chairs and it's beautiful because it's based out of real life experiences there's a specific part where she says and in every early mothering season since i returned to that chair exhausted and within its rhythms have found rejuvenation i thought that was so cute and encouraging and how a rocking chair could just make motherhood so special we get on page 55 to a note from joe and i loved this one this is actually i will say after the note from the editor which is basically joe talking to this is actually my second favorite from this edition she says, no matter how long it takes, nothing stays the same. For better or for worse, everything is always changing. And that's exactly the part that I found ironic because we talk about change and then we talk about anchor. She goes on to say, however, when I pause to look closely more and more, I have come to see that these anchors are what keep me from floating away into places where I don't wanna be or that i'm just not ready for yet so the magical thing is that they somehow offer a place of refuge in the ever-changing landscapes of our lives as i moved around the kitchen measuring and whisking and kneading like i've done so many times before my heart was able to find some rest it was a safe place for me to think and process the rapidly changing world around me it's been a consistent anchor that has kept me steady while also giving me space to find new perspectives. So, as simple as it sounds, I'm thankful for my kitchen. And I think it's important for us too to find our anchors in these times of hardship, to know what we cling to, to know what we're rooted in. It's important to go back to the essential. It's important to go back to the rhythm that we were used to, to the rhythm that makes us who we are is this beautiful illustration of her and then we have a quote from morgan h and that says through all that has changed and all that is the same you are free to breathe deep and fall into the rhythms of grace After that, we have a whole lot more of the spices with some recipes that Joanna provides us with for this fall season. I haven't tried to even cook them, but they look fire. They look 
fire something i think you guys need to know about me is that i love fall and this is why i'm so excited about this journal not only because it's joanna gaze it is magnolia but because fall is just so exciting for me you guys don't know yesterday the 22nd of september was actually the first day of fall but the saddest thing of it all is that i actually don't get to experience fall because i live in miami and if you live in miami you know what it is to have an internal summer the complete opposite of frozen and then just a couple more writings very inspirational it talks about true stories of people of the community a couple more writings we get to the place where ship gains actually ships in and his part is called a time for new rhythms and i am actually gonna read this all and he says i am finding it strange to be talking about rhythm Seeing as how, over this past few months, just about every ounce of rhythm that I've ever known has been disrupted. A global pandemic swept over us, and life as we knew it, it was thrown completely off kilter. I know its effects were and will be different for everyone. Varying levels of difficulty and devastation. For some, difficulty and devastation is an understatement, but I couldn't imagine us coming out on the other side and not being made stronger because of it, not taking better care of our communities because of it, not realizing what actually matters. And then my eyes were open, dead again, to the racial injustices that still plague our country today. I've spent the past month listening and trying to sort it all out overwhelmed at all the things i don't understand overwhelmed by how far we've still got to go overwhelmed by how far i have still got to go i don't have answers i'm still listening all i know is this i must do better we must do better i don't have a creepy punchline or anything cute to say I don't know what the rhythms of your life looks like before all of this or what they may might look like now. But I hope that as we work to create new ones, we prioritize the things of life that are good and beautiful. Because when everything changes and the world stops and we're forced to look at ourselves, we can help but take stock of what actually matters of the bits and pieces of our daily rhythms that are worth fighting for and so many that need to be forgotten. We see the importance of slowing down and taking care of ourselves and our, of our neighbors and of the world around us. I can't pretend to know how all of this will play out, but I do know this. When a rhythm is disrupted and displaced, another one fills its place. It's how the world works. This time, let's embrace the rhythms of understanding, the rhythms of justice, the rhythms of hope, and the rhythms of love. Oh, I hope you liked and enjoyed this video as much as I did. And if you liked it, please let me know in the comments down below what next thing you would like me to do. If you would like me to go on with a tutorial on how to make some decorations, and if, or if you would like me to go on another tour to Hearth and Hand, just let me know. Thank you for coming here today with me and literally watching me talk because that is literally everything that I did. And thank you again for staying tuned with my craziness over Magnolia and Ship and Joanna. But basically, yes, thank you so much and see you next time. Bye.